Hey guys, this is Jessica Lynn from JessicaLynnOriginal.com and today we are going to create an adorable card that could be perfect for Mother's Day. And this card features one of our stamps. It is our Sheltie stamp set, which is available at JessicaLynnOriginal.com now. I'm going to go ahead and use some Copic markers to color it in. One of the new things that I have loved doing lately with my Copics is using different shades of the same color rather than using grays to color everything like I used to. But this card is going to be a perfect one for Mother's Day. I think that if you have a dog lover or Sheltie owner and they've got some kids, this stamp set is so cute. You can make that card for them. And I am coloring it in to look like a Sheltie that I had growing up. Uh, Blazer was my Sheltie. He was a good little boy. Um, miss him. And they are, they are a really good breed. Uh, very smart, very loyal, except they are very yippy. If you're not uh, into a yippy dog, it might not be a perfect breed for you. Um, and they will herd your children and other animals in the family as well. What I'm doing right now is I'm layering up my Copic. So I started with an E34, this is an E35, and you can see I'm just using it to add shadows. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue to build up the color. Now that I've got them all colored, I'm just gonna go ahead and fussy cut them. Yes, I do have a brother scan and cut and I could have used that for it, which is a great option. Uh, but I'm just gonna fussy cut them today because I really just wanted a simple card, nothing too fancy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get out one of my die cuts. Um, I've had this one for a long time and I'm so sad. Every time I use my cuddle bug, I did purchase some more plates. So I'm ready to go for that, but um, let me go ahead and show you. And I just cut out a rectangle. And what I did with the rectangle was I chose one where it actually had a stitch line along it. I wanted to add just a little bit of detail, but not too much. But it's just enough to add a little more, you know, sparkle to the page, if you will. Because the whole plan for this card is to make it very simplistic. And then I can write a beautiful message to my mom inside. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and find my sentiments and I dug through them for quite a while because I couldn't decide what I wanted and I found a box of these old sentiments I've had for a while. I don't know when I got them, but I've had them for a while. Um, and on there, what I want to do is take the card and you can see I'm just going to kind of layer this up, put the rectangle in the upper kind of corner and then the Sheltie is going to be on foam risers so that he'll pop the little family will pop and so I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my sentiments on there and the ones that I decided to go with uh, it says thankful and like a really pretty script font and then there was a separate stamp that says for all of the memories that we have shared which I thought that would be a perfect collection so let me go ahead and I'm gonna get out my close to my heart ink so I've got to do that little flip and I usually end up with ink on my hand so be careful because obviously you know you don't want to get that all over a card that has this sort of simplistic and white background I think another option potentially could have been to have added maybe like a pink background or something with some um, foil or that just a little bit more to add a little depth to it but I really kind of wanted to keep this card brown and white very simplistic not a ton of crazy colors, just something beautiful. 
So let me go ahead and grab the sentiment and I'll get that on there as well. Now the best part. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw some glue adhesive, some Tombow on the back of that, and then I realized while I was redoing the uh, voiceover that there was a little glue ball that got stuck in there, and I didn't realize it until actually after I had mounted the card, and I was like, what is this little bump? So I went back and I just pulled that off. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my foam risers. Now I love the bigger circle foam risers because you need less of them. I don't like the little squares. Um, I think and if anybody has arthritis or trouble with their hands, the little tiny squares are really hard to use. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some foam risers on the back of this. And then I think I'm going to use, I found these, I had this little kit. And I can't remember where it came from. But I have this little kit with these little glue half pearl looking things. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of those and I'm going to put them in odd numbers because whenever you create something odd numbers always sparks interest. Even numbers sometimes doesn't add enough of a, um, a look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add those as well. Don't forget to sign the back of your card because it's your creation. Let me just go ahead and fold this and we'll take a look and see how it looks. Super clean, nice, you know, plain color scheme. I really just like that I focused on the coloring of the image and the sentiment. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, please go ahead and subscribe. Our goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Remember, it costs nothing, and we love having you as part of Team Jessica Lynn Original. If you like our stamps, be sure to visit our website, jessicalynnoriginal.com. I'll put all the details below. Thank you again, and have a good day.